the times of ancient Greece, mathematician Euclid discovered the atoms of numbers. What we today call the fundamental theorem of arithmetic sets out how all the integers are built out of the prime numbers. Today we're going to find out how that works. To find the prime numbers, you might try factorising a number. For instance, start with the number 6 and see what divides into it. In this case, 2 and 3. This works for any number, and the foundations of this tower comprise the prime numbers. You can't divide them into anything. This tower of factors can be built on by adding to the top. When you do this, the foundations of the tower remain the same. You simply add more numbers on top. With these two facts, that the prime numbers are the foundations of the tower, and that we can add to the tower without changing its basis, we can prove that every integer is built from these numbers. We can show this on the number line. 2 and 3 are easy, they're both prime numbers. 4 is comprised of 2 multiplied by 2, and as we've already shown that 2 has prime factors, we can show that 4 does as it's the next layer on our factor tower. 5 is also its own prime factorization. 6 is made up of 2 and 3, both of which we've already shown have prime factors, therefore so does 6 as the next level of our tower. 7 is easy because it's also prime. 8 is made up of 4 and 2, and as 4 and 2 both have prime factors, so does 8. This pattern continues indefinitely. In other words, we can separate the integers into two categories, prime numbers, which are the foundations of our tower, and composite numbers, which are built up using other numbers. If you follow these numbers back far enough, you'll wind up at the prime numbers.